This video is on the Wallander's belt. The Wallander's belts are a bit of a different belt. They have a different latching mechanism, which is kind of a cross between a prong belt and a lever belt and kind of gives you the benefits of both in that way. The Wallander belts are all handmade in Sweden and are exceptionally high quality, very nice leather, a little more flexible when you first get them versus the Inzer belts. They also give you a variety of color options that you can choose from. Uh, they do come with different stitching colors as well. Um, we do, we have them in from different colors from blue, red, uh, even gold, black, Just really nice color selections. The leather on the Wallander belts is really high quality. Very nice smooth finish. Some of them come with more of a suede finish, um, but they are a very high quality, well-made belt by uh, craftsmen in Sweden. The latching mechanism of the Wallander belt kind of allows you to, to get the best of both worlds between a prong and a lever, allowing for easier adjustability like a prong belt, but also a nice tight and quick release like a, like a lever belt. Although it does take some practice to get it as tight as a normal lever belt, but once you practice with it, you can get it pretty darn tight. The, uh, the way you put on a Wallander's belt, this is my belt, so I'll just demonstrate it, is you uh, reach across with the tongue end, put it through both the, the latch and the loop, and then with your, in my case with my left hand, I grab onto that latch, and I push the belt together, and kind of find the hole, and then it's tightened up, okay? So that's pretty darn tight. Um, and then to release it, you just pull on that, kind of like a lever, and it'll pop off pretty easily. So it does kind of give you the best of both worlds between a prong and a lever belt, but it does take a bit of practice to get used to that, that different latch mechanism, the European, the European latching mechanism. They're a very good belt, very popular, a little more pricey than a, than a Inzer belt, but, uh, but a really high quality option. They only come in a, about a 10 millimeter option. He doesn't, he doesn't necessarily list them as a 10 millimeter belt, but they're all kind of right between that 10 and 11 millimeter range. They come in size small all the way up to three extra large. One of the interesting things about the uh, Wallander belts is that in the small belts, they come with what's called a soft core. So instead of being a leather core applied between the two layers, the two surfaces, the smooth leather on the outside and the suede leather on the inside, it comes with a softer, more foam-like core. And what this does is it makes the walls of the belt a little more flexible. And this is specifically designed for a smaller female or even a smaller male because they don't have a lot of room between say the rib cage and the pelvis so this will give a little more flex to the wall of the belt and people can find it to be a little more comfortable than say a really stiff belt uh, for between that rib and pelvis so that's a pretty popular option uh, especially for smaller smaller females where they, they have a smaller torso so we'll wrap up quickly some of the pros of this belt would be the build quality, very high quality leather, all handmade in Sweden, uh, excellent quality belt. For the smaller female, a pro would be that you can get it with a softer core, allowing a little more flexibility between the rib cage and the, and the pelvis, and find it a little more comfortable for those smaller people. Uh, and the color options, uh, kind of like the Inzer belts, they have a lot more color options available, so you can kind of pick and choose which color you like and, uh, and find a color that you, that you really want to go with with your lifting. Uh, probably the last pro would be the latching mechanism. Uh, while it can be a little tricky to get used to at first, it does allow for good adjustability and also quick release. The only con would be the latching mechanism. It can take a little bit of getting used to, especially when you want to get it really tight. But once you do, it is quite easy to use and, and very easy to adjust. So it can be both a pro and a con in this belt. But uh, I think once you get used to it, There'll be nothing but a pro for that. So thanks for watching. This has been our video of the Wallers SC belt. If you have any questions about the belt, leave them in the comments below, and we'll try to respond to them there. And check out our channel to see more of our product videos.